how to create a safe and effective uh, cure. Um, it's not easy. But right now, uh, latent infection, uh, so there's this thing called the latent virus, and that's what's, that's what's preventing us from getting a, a cure with antiretroviral medicine. So I could take patients and have had patients where I, they have been absolutely perfect antiretroviral therapy, never had a detectable viral blip, you know, suppressed for years. If you take those individuals off of an anti, off their antiretroviral medicine, the, ba the virus bounces back within weeks to the levels that, that existed before the infection. What's rekindling this, this infection in these individuals? It's the latent reservoir, a small population of memory CD4 T cells, one in a million. So think about this auditorium. Think about 10,000 of these auditoriums, and think about finding one person in those 10,000 uh, auditoriums. That's what latency is about. One in a million cells are latently infected. And then, but the body might only contain 100,000 of those cells, but we have to be able to attack each and every one of those and eliminate them to achieve a cure. Right now, we don't know enough about the biology. Uh, we can't study those one in a million cells. It's, uh, the, the background is too big, so we don't really know what's going on. We have these surrogate cell models, many of which have been created here at Gladstone, but they're imperfect at best. So our idea, and it's an idea, uh, is to use IPS technology to revolutionize HIV cure research. And the concept is, is to find that one in a million cells and convert it into an IPS cell. Now we can grow these iPS cells at essentially at limitless quantities, and we can isolate clones. We can isolate pure, latently infected iPS cells. And then the concept is not to take them down another, uh, down another path, but exactly right back to the path that they were on. Redifferentiate them back into the memory CD4 T cell where they started out. But now it's a homogeneous population of latently infected cells that mimics the biology uh, uh, of the latently infected cell found uh, one in a million in, in, in HIV-infected subjects. Well, what does this do for us? Well, it opens up an incredible array of studies. Now we can study what's the biological basis of latency? How is latency actually created? Is it uh, any one of a number of mechanisms could be at play here? Well, now we're going to be able to figure it out. It also allows us to begin testing combinations of, of agents to try and induce that virus, to try and rally the virus out of its transcriptional slumber. The, this is what's called shock and kill. So the idea is to shock the latently infected cell and then kill it, uh, and thereby trying to get rid of, uh, of these few hundred thousand cells, latently infected cells in the body. We know that not every cell that we shock gets killed. Um, and so, so there may be the need to create new killing mechanisms to actually attack um, uh, those cells. We could also look for, is there a marker of the, on these latently infected cells? Is there some vestige of the virus actually setting up a latent infection there? That could revolution. If we had a cell marker for, for latency, it would be a, 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 an incredible uh, tool at, at our hand. So all of this, I'm trying to emphasize how how a discovery in cell biology, in, in development, uh, how this IPS technology, how we may be able to apply this technology in, in a very meaningful way to hopefully one day achieve a, a, a cure for HIV infection. Thanks very much.